fact, each integer of the form 3n plus 2 has a prime factor of the same form. Very interesting statement. Okay, so what kind of forms can the factors be in? By their division algorithm, all prime factors are going to be of a certain form. all prime factors of 3n plus 2 will be of the form and we're going to pick a clever form 3n 3n plus 1 or 3n plus 2 and I need to show that you can't be 3m and you can't only be 3m plus 1. Okay. Suppose a prime factor of 2n, sorry, 3n plus 2 is 3m. Then 3m, being a factor, prime or not, must divide 3n plus 2. But of course, 3 divides 3m. Ah, if 3 divides this number, and this number then divides 3n plus 2, then 3 must divide 3n plus 2. But that's absurd. 3 only div go into numbers that when you divide by 3, it has no remainder. When you divide this number by 3, it has a remainder of 2. Another argument is, 3 clearly goes into 3n. And for 3 to go into a sum of 3n and 2, 3 would also have to go into 2. But that doesn't happen. So 3m is dead. Now let's make a statement like I said earlier. Kind of threw it in. If you're not a multiple, you can't be a multiple. Okay, so let me say this. So, all prime factors of 3n plus 2 must be of the two remaining forms. Must be of the form 3m plus 1 or 3m plus 2. Now, I want to show that 3m plus 2 must be a factor, a prime factor of 3n plus 2. Well, let's kind of, let's argue that, or let's state that the number, a number of the form 3n plus 2 cannot only have factors of the form 3n plus 1. Because if you can't only have factors of 3n plus 1, then it must have a factor of 3n plus 2. Because there's only, initially there are only three possibilities with 3m being included. But we knocked out 3m. Okay, so let's write this up. Suppose all, no, Let's suppose no prime factors. Let's suppose no prime factors of 3n plus 2 are of the form 3n plus 2. So 3n plus 2 must, when we prime factor it must be of the form 3a plus 1 times 3a plus 2 times oops, 3a 3b plus 1 a multiple of 3 plus 1 plus a multiple of 3 plus 1 
etc., where a, b, and c are integers. Now here's the problem, but 3a plus 1 times 3b plus 1, etc., is of the form 3q plus 1. Because any time you multiply two things, or, well, you're going to take one from each. Every time you do that, you're going to have, with one exception, when you pick one from each, at least one of them is going to be of the form of 3a, you know, multiple of 3, except when you multiply all the ones together. So when you multiply all those numbers that have a factor of 3, then you're going to get 3 times q, plus the one and only one time when you only multiply the ones. That's going to be 3q plus 1. So the question is, is can 3m plus 2 be of the form 3q plus 1? Because this here, 3q plus 1, is the product of all the prime numbers for 3n plus 2. And the answer is no, th th this can't be. because if 3m plus 2 is equal to 3q plus 1, that would imply factoring out the 3, that 3 times q minus m is 2 minus 1 or 1. But that's absurd. This is a multiple of 3 and this is not. So it is not true that no prime fact is of 3n plus 1 can be of this form. So at least one factor of 3n plus 2 must be of the form 3n plus 2 which is the same form. And that's what we set out to prove. That's what we did prove. Subscribe to my channel. Click the like button. See you guys in the next video. Remember, watch and learn.